Ryan, you're sitting by the fire like it's cold right now. I just like the fire I'm cooking my back. Nice way to be. Yep, I have, like fire. Have you been outside today? Yes. How was it? Bad. <laughs> I like fire, not cold. It's like <laughs> minus seven bajillion degrees outside. Yeah. You know, it's actually so cold that I had, just to go to my appointment, I even put on long underwear and jeans and shirt and hoodie and wool coat and two gun gloves just to go to an appointment. Emma, did you go outside today? Nope. Can't blame you. Good call. Oh, I have one more question. I'm here with Ryan tonight and we are sitting by our warm, cozy fire because it is mine is a bajillion outside. It's actually minus 40 today, which is the temperature that Celsius and Fahrenheit are the exact same temperature. That's cool. It's really cold. It is. It's crazy, crazy cold. In fact, so cold that I have a story to tell you from this morning. Our regular homeschooled schedule was interrupted today because of what happened. I had an appointment uh, that I had to go to this morning. And uh, driving down, and, and the truck was acting funny because it was just, like crazy, crazy cold. And I was just kind of chalking it up to that. So I was driving really slow. I took the back road down. Um, and I don't think I drove more than 25 kilometers an hour the whole way. And because of the temperatures and everything, all the roads are covered in like a hard packed snow. So I wasn't on asphalt at all. Uh, and I got there and things were still acting funny. I was trying to get everything warmed up. And I left, I got about a block away from my appointment on my way home. And I was like, something's really, really funny. So I turned the truck off and I pulled over. No, I didn't turn it off. I'm sorry. That would have been foolish because I would have frozen to death. Uh, I just pulled over and I called dad and asked him and we kind of chatted for a bit. And then he suggested I go out and walk around and check what was going on. So I did. And not only was the tire flat, it was ripped to shreds. <laughs> Like, uh, <laughs> thanks for laughing, Andrea. That, that's awesome. Um, okay, it is actually really funny. So I'm gonna, Andrea, if you can edit and put a picture in here somewhere and show what this tire looks like. Uh, there's nothing. That there, well, no, it's still there. It is still on the vehicle. It's a little flat. It's a little, it's a little flat. It's still yes, like it a gaping hole. It just needs some more air. <laughs> Not mine. Good. I, I wonder if you can buy a patch kit for a hole that big yeah, in the tire. Sure you can. Yeah. Just use duct tape. Just, yeah. Just use duct tape. <laughs> duct tape. Duct tape. Um, and yeah, some, maybe some suspenders or a pen cap or something. I'm sure we can fix it. Yeah. Just put a cover over it and that'll, like, like you put over the couch. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. Put a couch cover on it. A tire cover. We'll do something. So. Dad called for a tow truck, and because there's been so many accidents and so many people's cars don't start in these temperatures, and they need a boost, and they need this, or whatever, uh, at 10 o'clock this morning, the time I was given for the tow truck to come was 9 o'clock tonight. That's insane. So thankfully, I'm so grateful that I have a daughter with a full driver's license and a car who could come and get me. Yay, Andrea! Andrea saved the day. And I'm thankful that her car started because if her car didn't start, then we were looking at other options because it's just simply too cold to walk home. I just couldn't. I wasn't. I was dressed for the weather, but I wasn't dressed for walking outside for an hour. Uh, so Andrew came and got me and, uh, and Dad was telling me that he was putting on the, the checklist. It's more wobbly for you than it is for me. Yeah, that's weird. Well, be strong in your arm. Use those pipes. He was telling me we were having a good laugh because there's this checkbox that, because you put, you know, you put on the report on the website what they're coming to tow you for, and 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 he put on there that the tire was was damaged, and, and so one of the checkboxes is, does it just need to be filled with air? And we're like, uh, yeah. no, I don't think so. I I think there's probably more of a problem than yeah. that. Yeah. I mean, if we put some more air in there, we might be able to get it home. <laughs> Before I go, there's that awesome, super awesome subscribe button just down there. We would love it. Oh, sorry. I moved the phone on you, Ryan. Right? <sighs> we would love it if you would click the subscribe button and please comment because we, you know who actually does, who does all the comments? Me. Ryan. So if you want to chat with Ryan, um, keeping in mind parental supervision, <laughs> then please, please comment. We love doing that. We love connecting. Subscribe. Uh, hit that bell because we're a lot of fun to watch. Really, it's obvious that we're a lot of fun to watch. No. Taboo. <laughs> <laughs> Taboo. So in the meantime, one of the things we desperately had to do today was get groceries. Um, 
That didn't happen. That didn't happen. N none of that happened. So we are playing the what's in the pantry game for dinner. And we're gonna go check out with Andrea and see what we managed to put together for dinner. In a tree. That's a pretty tree. What did we end up putting together for dinner? Cold meatballs and so or like like noodles and sauce. Like tin tomato sauce. That doesn't look like it's coming out of a can. That looks like the real deal. You can get parsley in a can. No, I meant you. <laughs> She's like, oh, spinach is one thing, but parsley? I meant the pasta sauce doesn't look like it's coming out of a can. Oh, no. No, that stuff tastes so bland and so sweet. It's the nastiest ever. This looks like the real deal. Where's it's your re rendition of the real deal? Where's your recipe from? My head? Oh, from Nana. And then I... And then, that looks so good. Like, that one's like the basic, and then you just kind of... Just, you just do it. Okay. Tell me how cold it was outside when you Super went out. Super cold. Mom, like, got stranded. It was so cold. Right? Yeah. You gonna go with me and take me back to go get the truck later? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. If my car will start. It should start, though. I hope it starts. I hope it starts. That looks really good. I can't wait for supper. Hey, you want to see something fun? This is what happens here when it gets this cold. This is the back door. Do you see all the ice? And like the screw, that's the screw holding it on. So any moisture in the house turns to ice on the door. You know, we live in civilization, by the way. This is just that cold. That crazy, crazy, crazy cold. Right, Andrea? Crazy cold. Super cold. Little update. It's now getting dark outside. We haven't heard from the tow truck yet, uh, but we just saw the weather forecast. And I'm gonna ask Andrea to put it up here because otherwise you won't believe me how cold it's supposed to be by tomorrow morning. Um, this is really crazy. Like crazy, crazy cold. There, there are no words. Um, guess what, Andrea? You work in the morning. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, at least I don't work at six. That's true, you work at seven. I pay the peeps that get up for six. <laughs> Not mentioning any names for any of Andrea's workmates <laughs> that work at six. Tomorrow she's laughing at you. I'd just like to let you know that. Because uh, she works at seven. They're going to be cold. You're gonna be, they're going to be colder than her, apparently. That whole hour. Ah. <laughs> we'll keep you posted.